So today I'm just going to briefly describe the three main types of skin cancer. And uh, this is just an overview, so if you have more questions or if you, of course, think you have something on your skin that is worrisome for one of these types of skin cancer, please make an appointment with our office, Marsville Dermatology Center. Um, the first and most common type of skin cancer that affects human beings is called basal cell carcinoma. Um, this little diagram just helps you understand a little bit about basal cell. It comes from the cells right here in this purple layer, which are called the basal skin cells or the stem cells. And um, this type of skin cancer is most commonly um, associated with having a lot of UV radiation or UV exposure over your lifetime. So being out in the sun without your proper sun protection. Um, there are about 1 million new cases of basal cell diagnosed in the United States every year. And I, um, in our practice, we see probably 5 to 10 new cases a week here. Um, it's rarely a fatal type of skin cancer, so it's, you know, it's not the kind that you generally have to worry about spreading to other parts of your body, but it can be quite disfiguring, especially if it's on the face and you have to have surgery to remove the skin cancer um, on the nose or the ear or the cheek, because you know, then you have to have that area repaired uh, with a skin flap or by a plastic surgeon. Um, usually the lesions look like a little pink bump and they can be there for many years and that's what fools patients sometimes is they say well it's been there five or ten years already. Um, it grows very slowly, it can grow over five or ten years but um, what you'll notice is that it continues to get bigger and sometimes right in the middle of the lesion it'll actually get a little pink scab or start to bleed spontaneously. So really important if you notice something like that on your skin to come right into the office. The second most common type of skin cancer on human beings is squamous cell carcinoma. This type is a little bit more dangerous. It can actually metastasize if left on the skin long enough and not treated. And there are about 250,000 new cases of squamous cell per year. Um, it does cause about 2,500 deaths from skin cancer every year. Um, and usually these types of skin cancers appear as more of a thick, rough, scaly patch on the skin that never goes away. It does not heal, it doesn't come and go, it stays there and continues to grow. A lot of times my patients will say, this spot feels like I'm being poked with a pin or a needle, and that's because squamous cell can affect your nerve endings. So if, again, if you see a spot on your skin like this that's turning rough, scaly, not healing, come right into the office. The last type of skin cancer that's the least common but most deadly is melanoma. Um, melanoma will oftentimes arise from a mole, sometimes a mole that's been there for your whole life. Um, but about 30 to 40 percent of the time it doesn't come from a mole, it's a brand new spot on the skin that was, you've never had anything there before. Um, most melanomas appear brown or black and they'll be irregular, they'll be um, asymmetrical, so you can't fold the spot in half and have it be the same on both sides. They'll have a jagged border or like a Pac-Man border, not completely round and even, and they'll um, eventually have a diameter more than the size of a pencil eraser, or six millimeters. And those signs I just described to you are what we call the ABCD signs. Asymmetry, border irregularity, color variation, diameter greater than a pencil eraser, or six millimeters. The last sign of melanoma, though, is evolving over time, and this can mean a tiny little spot on your skin, just the size of a pinhead, that starts to change, grow, turn different colors, or bleed or itch all the time. If you have anything like that on your skin, come in and see us right away at Mooresville Dermatology Center. Thank you.